Hey everyone! Welcome back to the Project Awesome. So ngayon, papakita ko sa inyo kung paano gawin tong full makeup na to. And this is actually inspired by Bat Elash Beauty. So this is a warm brown smoky eyes with a pop of color. So let's start! So first, we're going to apply primer. And today, I'm using this Essence I Love Stage Eyeshadow Base. And just apply that all over your lids. And then after that, maglalagay tayo ng transition color natin. And gagamitin natin tong Caroline palette na to. So, kukunin lang natin yung taupe shade dun sa bottom part. And then just apply that on your crease area. Yan ang magsisilbi natin transition color. And I'm just applying that using a blending brush. Next, we're going to add warmth on the eyes. At gagamitin naman natin tong red eyeshadow from the same Caroline palette. And I'm just applying that basically on top of the transition color. Ayan, dun din sa may eye socket or crease area ng eyes natin. And then as you apply it, of course, you have to blend the edges para magkaroon ng seamless finish. And then now we're going to deepen the eyes with this dark brown eyeshadow from my Pixi eyeshadow palette. Ayan, so gagamitin natin yung dark brown at una ilalagay natin yan dun sa outer corners ng eyes natin, like so. And I'm just using a pencil brush to apply the dark brown eyeshadow dun sa outer V or outer corners ng eyes ko. And then ngayon naman, ilalagay natin yan dun sa may inner thirds ng eyes natin. Yan, kung paano ko ginagawa dyan sa screen. And then, next, we're going to blend that, of course. And then, as we blend that, parang ipagkikita natin sa gitna yung dark brown eyeshadow from the inner and from the outer corners. Ayan, so para magkakaroon tayo ng... Um, light bridge. Para magkakaroon siya ng bridge, pero dapat very seamless lang yung dating niya. Para lang mag-blend yung eyeshadows. So, pwede niyong dagdagan yung intensity ng dark brown eyeshadow by adding more. Ayan. So, ganyan yung ginagawa ko. Hanggang ma-reach ko yung intensity ng pigment ng dark brown eyeshadows. And then, that's it. Now, for the fun part, we're going to add color. At bago natin i-apply yung teal eyeshadow natin, gagamit muna tayo ng base. At gagamit tayo ng dark na base. So, ang gagamitin ko ngayon ay yung Nichido Minerals Precise Eye Pencil in the shade Tiger Eye. So, this is basically a dark brown pencil or eye pencil. Ayan. So, lalagay nyo lang yan dun sa empty area ng lids nyo, dun sa may gitna, sa middle part. And then, just blend that using your fingers. Okay lang kahit na hindi masyadong perfect yung pagka-blend, kahit medyo messy. Okay lang. Kasi tatakpan naman natin yan ng eyeshadow. Sorry, medyo nabubulol ako. So, ang gagamitin nating pigment ngayon ay yung Virginia Olsen um, Loose Mineral Eyeshadow in the shade Crescent Moon. So, pag tinignan nyo lang siya sa pot, para lang siyang white. Pero pagka nilagay nyo na yan sa base na dark, parang magiging teal yung dating niya. So, that's the reason kaya gumamit tayo ng dark brown eye pencil as base. So, basically, just patting it on the middle part dun sa ibabaw ng dark brown eye pencil. So, nakikita nyo parang pinipress ko sa lids ko yung pigment. Para, una, para maiwasan yung fallout. At pangalawa, para mas maging intense or para mas kumapit yung eyeshadow dun sa eyes natin. Of course, you have to blend out the edges para mag-burge siya dun sa ibang colors ng eyeshadow nyo. So, I'm just using a blending brush to blend everything out. And then, that's it! Diba? Ang dali lang. So, now we're going to line the lower lash lines using the same dark brown eye pencil. So, after that, just smudge it using your smudger brush. And then, on top of that, we're going to apply the dark brown eyeshadow na ginamit natin kanina, yung sa Pixie Eyeshadow Palette. So, ayan, apply nyo lang para maset yung dark brown eye pencil. Next, para magkaroon pa ng konting warm sa eyes natin, dun sa ibabaw ng dark brown, ilalagay natin yung red eyeshadow na ginamit natin kanina. And then, just blend it for the hazy effect or smoky effect. And then, that's it! Next, we're going to highlight the inner corners using the same crescent moon eyeshadow, yung ginamit natin sa lids natin. Ayan. Just applying that on the inner corners of my eyes. Next, we're going to highlight the brow bones using this beige eyeshadow from my Caroline palette. And then that's it. Now we're just going to simply line the upper lash lines at gagamitin natin yung Maybelline Gel Eyeliner na to. At sa pagline natin ng eyes, very thin lang. Line your eyes very thinly para hindi niya masyadong ma-overpower yung eye makeup na ginawa natin sa lids natin. So I'm just using an angled liner to apply the black eyeliner. So nakikita niyo kung gaano kanipis yung paglagay ko ng eyeliner. 
And then after lining the eyes, we're going to apply false eyelashes. Actually, it's up to you if you want to apply false eyelashes. Pero sa look na to, mas maganda kapag merong falsies. So, hindi ko na, pinakita ko sa inyo kung paano. Now, I'm just applying the mascara after I applied the false eyelashes para mag-merge yung original and yung fake lashes natin. And then that's it for the eye makeup. As you can see, ang dali lang niyang gawin, ang dali lang siyang i-achieve, pero dapat i-practice pa rin natin yung blending skills natin para ma-achieve natin yung seamless and flawless finish nung eye makeup natin. And next, we're just going to contour the face parang sa mga dating makeup tutorial na ginagawa ko. And here, I'm just sculpting my cheekbones first using this brush from Beauty Cosmetics. Parang tinitrace ko muna yung ilalim ng cheekbones ko. And then after that, ibiblend natin yan pataas using this highlighter brush from my Makeup by Tony brush set. And yeah, continue to contour your face para magkaroon ng dimension, para hindi magmukhang flat looking yung face natin sa pictures. Contour your temples and your jawlines. And then that's it. Now we're going to add blush. And here I'm just using my Sensen blush. Oo, Sensen ang gamit ko ngayong blush. So this in the shade Mocha blush. I think it's Mocha blush siya. Just apply that on your cheekbones, on your cheek plane. And then next, we're going to apply highlighter. And the highlighter that I'm using today is this Hard Candy Glow Away Bronzer Plus Highlighter Duo. So, I'm going to use highlighter part, of course. Basically, just applying that on top of my cheekbones, dun sa may itaas pa. And then, I'm just going to blend that using my fingers. And then, that's it. So, I forgot to contour my nose na naman. So, here, I'm just contouring my nose, contouring the sides of my nose. And then, again, I'm going to take my highlighter, my Hard Candy Glow Away Highlighter. So, lalagay ko yan sa bridge ng nose ko. Just blend it using your fingers. And now, for the lips, we can do two looks. So, first, I'm going to use this Light Lip Liner. And this is from Herbench, by the way. And this is the Herbench Paint Box Semi-Permanent Lip Liner. And this is in the shade Scarlet Red. Pero hindi siya mukhang Scarlet. It's actually a nude lip liner. Pero maganda tong lip liner nito, ah. So, just apply that on your lips. So, ayan na yung finished look natin. But I also have another option. You can use dark lips. So, here I'm going to use this Jordana Lip Liner in the shade Mahogany. So, parang mas gusto ko tong dark lips na to kasi mas mahilig ako sa vampy lips, sa mga dark lips, kaysa sa mga nude lips. So, yeah, that's it. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I hope that you like this look. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video, you guys. Stay awesome and accomplish your mission. Bye!